Hi everyone, in this video I will be installing Cache OS in a dual boot setup with Windows. Cache OS is an Arch Linux based distro focusing on speed, security, and performance. You'll need a USB drive of at least 8GB to do the install. I'm going to pull up disk management and I have here my 128GB drive and I have here my 32GB USB drive and this is where I'm going to put the Cache OS install media on. So I'm going to go and download it. Going to go to cacheos.org. Going to go to download, desktop edition, and download it and direct. So I can download directly from it. And then after, I'm going to download Rufus, rufus.ie, and go down and go to the portable version. I'm going to download that. And once you have both downloaded, and I'm going to go and open up Rufus. Yep, I'll check for updates. All right, and it's already selected my USB drive and I'll select the ISO. So it's cache and I'll change it to GPT and UEFI and I'll leave the rest as defaults and start. Right in ISO mode. Yep, it's asking to confirm, okay. Okay, it has completed close and go back to disk management and so cache os the iso is on my drive here my usb drive and here's my c drive where i have windows and when i do the install i'm going to be shrinking this so then i can have space to put cache os on so now i'm going to reboot my computer and boot from the usb drive all right, so it's booted into the USB drive and a grub menu comes up for Cache OS. And so to get the install started, so you can pick the default or if you have an NVIDIA closed source driver for the latest cards and you can select this option. And if you have legacy hardware, you can select this option. So I'm just gonna pick the default. All right, we're in Cache OS and we got the welcome screen. Select launch an installer, choose a bootloader. I'm gonna pick Grub. All right, pick your language, American English, next. All right, pick your region, next. And pick your keyboard, English, default, next. And here under the partitioning, I'm gonna pick manual partitioning. And I'm gonna hit next. All right, I'm gonna select my NTFS partition, 127 gigabytes, so this is my C drive. I am going to edit this and shrink it. So I'm going to shrink this by 40 gigabytes. So I'm going to use 40 gigabytes for Cache OS. So I'm going to bring this down to 90,000 and hit OK. All right, there's my free space here, 39.24 gigabytes. And I'm going to create a new partition and 512 megabytes, and this is going to be for the EFI partition, specifically just for Cache OS. File system is FAT32. Mount point is boot EFI, and we need the boot flag for this. Hit OK, and we see it there. And then next partition, and then I'm gonna do 20,000, and this is going to be for slash home, file system ext4, okay. And remaining space I'm gonna have for slash, ext4, mount point. And you can see there's other mount points so you can customize further as need be. Okay. All right, so there are my new partitions and hit next. So here is the desktop that you want to select. So you got, for example, Plasma, Gnome, you got Cinnamon, you got Hyperland, etc. So I'm gonna keep default Plasma next. And here is for additional packages. And so I'm gonna leave it as the default, hit next. And here you fill in your name, username, name of your computer and your password. And there's at the bottom here, login automatically without asking for the password. I will leave that unchecked and you can have it as to use the same password for the administrator account just to make it easier and then hit next all right and 
this is just a, an overview of everything that it's going to do. So you can take a look over it and once ready, hit install. Install now. And so it's going to install Cache OS. And you can see the operation at the bottom, what it's doing. So it's currently resizing. And you can click on the button here and you can see the current progress. So this will take a bit of time depending on your computer and how fast your internet connection is. All right, during the install, you can go back between the Pacman log, the package manager log, and the installer. And we see here that says that it is done and it has been installed on your computer. And you can restart now. So I'm going to restart. Done. All right, Cache OS Grub comes up, which is good. And we can see that Cache OS is there, but there is no Windows. So we're going to fix that. Go into Cache OS Linux. Going to log in. All right, and there's the welcome screen. We can close that. And go to the application launcher, go to system, and we're going to go to the terminal, which is called console. All right, so I'm in the console, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sudo in, put in your password. And I'm going to VI into the Etsy default grub file. And if you're not familiar with VI, we're going to go to the bottom of the page. So I'm going to use the shortcut, which is capital G. And we're at the bottom of the page. And then I'm going to go up one line. It says here grub disable OS prober equals false. So we're going to hit X. So we're going to remove that comment at the front there. And so it's been removed. And then we're going to hit colon WQ. So this will write and quit. All right. And so changes have been made. And now we're going to type in OS-prober. So it's going to probe for other OSs. All right. And we can see here that it has found Windows Boot Manager. So that is good. And now we're going to make a new grub file which will include the Windows Boot Manager there. So make config and then boot grub grub.cfg. All right, and we can see that it has included it. So that is good. And now we're going to reboot. All right, so it's rebooted and we see here Cache OS and also as well as the Windows Boot Manager. So we can dual boot between the two. So just to confirm, going to boot into Windows. All right, so it's booted into Windows as expected. So that's it. That's how you can install Cache OS in a dual boot setup with Windows. I hope this video was useful and I thank you for watching. Bye now.